Good morning friends. Uh, today we will see the turning moment diagram for different combinations. In the last lecture we have seen the turning moment as a function of theta. That thing we have seen in the last class. Right? Now we will take the discussion further and we will see for the different combination how the turning moment diagram comes, how it varies with respect to the crank angle. That thing we will see in the today's class. Okay, let me start the class. Yes. See, now we will see for the turning moment diagram for different combination. First we will see how it looks like for single cylinder engine. Then we will see for double acting, a, sing a single slider double acting steam and it is then four stroke engine, four stroke IC engine and multi cylinder engine. This all the three combinations we will see in the today's class. See you know it is plotted on Cartesian coordinates in which turning moment is taken as on ordinate and crank angle on abscissa. Right? This is what the ordinate and the abscissa is x axis. Here while plotting the turning moment on theta diagram, the here we on this uh, ordinate we will take the turning moment and here we will take the theta. It means it is a crank angle. Okay, see now for single acting a single cylinder double acting steam engine this is how this looks like let me first before this explaining first i will explain you how this uh, single cylinder double acting steam engine works that i will explain you first see i will take single uh, this is a cylinder okay the cylinder is closed here like this right it is a double acting means the piston is here right the see in the double acting hot air, the here is a piston connecting rod is connected here and the crank this is what the crank right the crank revolves around this see in the single uh, double acting the steam comes from this side means once the steam is uh, steam in here right steam in in power plant you have studied this St once the steam in you apply pre pressurized steam in enters inside this cylinder and it pushes the piston to the <coughs> right side right then we will get the power stroke in this direction also there is one more arrangement I, the steam is in double acting the steam once it goes at this end the again the steam in from this end also so what this done then again it pushes to the piston back means in the both cycle we are getting See from this position to push, uh, this position means in when it travels to 180 degree means pi uh, 180 degree then it will get one power stroke again from this end to this end when it reverse goes back that's why we will get power also means in the both stroke we will get the power in double acting steam engine. This is what how the principle which it works on and this is the angle theta which is made by this right okay now means what we understood from this from one revolution one revolution let me check my video is recording or not yes it's a recording okay for one revolution you of crank of crank you will get two cycles right two cycles cycle is complete in 180 degree one uh, cycle here the cycle is cycle is completed one cycle means one cycle is completed one cycle is completed in 180 degree right see the one cycle means from here to here the cycle is completed right the again the second cycle when starts again it travels from the crank travels from from pi to again 360 degree like this it works right and from the boat you are getting from both you are getting from you are getting you are getting work output also right work output in the both cycle means at at theta is equal to 0 when theta is 0 when the crank is at this position uh, see the crank the position of the crank is 
along the line of reciprocation it means theta is equal to 0 that time uh, the value of this turning moment moment is 0 right and at theta is equal to 90 degree theta is equal to 90 degree means when the crank is here then you will get the maximum turning moment turning moment is t max here you understood this how this working works see why we are studying this turning moment diagram let me go into the next slide and i will explain you the the reason behind the study of this uh, turning moment diagram is pretty much clear right because what the ultimate aim in in studying the turning moment diagram is to find out the energy right let me erase this okay see why we are studying why we are studying turning moment diagram in short it is called tmd also okay tmd why we are studying this turning moment diagram the answer is we are interesting to uh, finding out energy in control panel finding out interest our interest is finding out energy we have to find out the energy right and why we are interested to find out the energy we, we, we have to go for the power required how much power the, it depends on the energy and powers are related right so we finding out the energy so that's why we are studying this TMD okay means see in the uh, in the IC engine the input energy is in the IC engine input energy energy is combustion of fuel right for example I will tell you here combustion of fuel that is what the input energy okay and the output energy what we will get the output the output is form of mechanical energy we will get mechanical energy okay so how to measure this mechanical energy that's why we are studying this t theta diagram right turning moment versus theta diagram this help us see the area which here the area told tell us the how much energy we are getting from this that thing this area is telling okay the whatever the hatched area is here see this is what the uh, single cylinder double acting cylinder so in one degree one revolution of the crank see here uh, here in one in one 180 degree, degree revolution it the the turning moment here it is a maximum right it is a t max here and here it is a t it is a t mean here t mean high here i have written right see t max and t mean right and t mean uh, it's a mean not a minimum it's a mean okay and minimum is here at at on the uh, abscess axis it is a minimum okay see uh, in, uh, the one revolution of the crank that is a two cycles right and with complete revolution mean one cycle one cycle is completed in 180 degree means this is what the one cycle from here to here means the pistons movement from this top dead center to bottom dead center right this is the one cycle here here it is how it looks like the turning moment drive and when the see the, when theta is equal to zero we have the turning moment is zero at this place right on the on this axis i represented the turning moment and on this it is a theta okay there is a crank angle here on this axis you understood this and this is how this uh, this uh, this is working you are okay means here here what we are finding the mechanical energy how to measure the, this mechanical energy with the help of this turning moment diagram by taking the area of this okay now how much how much amount of energy are getting so so the turning moment diagram is required right how much energy we are getting from this so we required the turning moment diagram means how much energy how much energy 
getting in order to understand this we study this turning moment versus theta diagram okay see this is the mean torque means mean resisting torque right see the many things we can uh, conclude from this right uh, let me go to the next slide i will explain you in detail again uh, <coughs> it will take for the copies for some time okay see now now i will erase this as i already written in the in there right so i will erase this in the previous page I, if you want you can take a screenshot of that also here i am not erasing i am just copy and pasting this here so you need, so the, the guys those who need the the pdf of this then i can also provide please put in a comments so that i will provide you the pdf this is what the mean right see from the, uh, the from what we understand how much total energy we will get from this how much total energy we are getting we are we are getting we are getting from how much total energy from turning moment diagram this thing we understood from this right and see also we will see here what the, see the maximum energy also we can see here right e max how much e max see at at tau max that is at t max the e max will be there right we can also calculate the maximum energy also we, we will see the minimum energy from this also right and if we the fluctuation of the energy is fluctuation fluctuation of energy also we will see how it we will calculate this see once we know this e maximum and e minimum we can the fluctuation is e max minus e minimum right this this thing we can calculate from this please watch this lecture carefully because once you understand see the energy is very important here right because of that we are all studying this okay and for this fluctuation of the energy to we need see anyhow we have to need the to minimize this fluctuation of the energy right this is what we don't require so the 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 device comes that device name called is flywheel okay with the help of flywheel we will control this fluctuation of the energy and once we complete this turning moment diagram along with this we will study the flywheel see this is what also the part of the flywheel okay this is what one part the other part we will see in the next classes upcoming classes and the turning moment and flywheel both are very much related right uh, also we will see that how to design the flywheel rim that thing everything we will see in the, our upcoming classes so you don't forget you don't uh, watch all the lectures okay now in the next now we will see uh, what is a t min let me erase this i will here will i will write down here directly no problem we have edit this in the you see it is in a single shell and double acting engine now we will see at, at uh, means uh, t min and t min it is t min also called as t resisting okay it is also called as t resisting t min or t resisting we will see this term uh, see the as here why we are looking for this t min and t resisting let me first uh, tell you that thing uh, see here t min we have to find out this is t min we the actually the, the our requirement is constant torque right but here we are not getting not able to get the constant torque because of this revolution of the crank you know that thing we have done right we ought expect is the the t min we are expected right that thing the the constant this 
is required but this is what the imaginary this is not actually getting here but we will try to able to uh, uh, this whatever the variation this is what the variation in the turning moment right with theta we are getting but we try to minimize that with the help of the flywheel whatever the lack of energy and excess of energy it will take to, it, the flywheel will take that right then with the help of that flywheel we are minimizing this and we will try to come we try to achieve this steam in as possible as okay you understood this what is now we will see what is the team in see the team in is means uh, resisting uh, resisting to, uh, turn uh, resisting torque see see the actually what we are getting here like this let me differentiate here so that you will understand this <sighs> see uh, this is how we are getting in one cycle right just now we have seen okay there is a uh, from zero that is theta is equal to zero here and theta is 180 here theta is equal to 180 degree right this is a up, this is a lower limit and this is upper limit okay of theta and this is what the area we are getting under this t versus theta diagram this, this is a crank angle right crank let me put my battery to be charged. Actually, it's not getting richer. Something. Let me check for a while. Yes, now it started. Yeah, again it's gone. Yes, again it comes. Okay. See, this is how uh, the T min and T resisting, right? See, this this is what the area under this. This is what the indication of the energy. How much energy available at theta is equal to zero? We are not getting any energy, right? and theta at 180 also we are not getting, getting energy but this is the t maximum energy is getting here when the crank angle is 90 degree with a line of reciprocation right so uh, what we have to do this is what the this is what the actual we are getting right actual from single slider crank mechanism but what the required is the t min see here the t min is like this okay this is what our requirement means in the t min we have to this is a t max here t max okay at theta is equal to zero but this is not possible this is just imaginary okay just i am converting this area into this equivalent area okay this is what the imaginary right and this is uh, this is theta that is a crank angle okay uh, see this is what let me let me go to the next slide where we are now uh, yes it is a sin. yes here right see <coughs> let me delete this we as we are studying about this timin and t torque right resisting it is all uh, please take a no, some notes it is t mean is it is it is an imaginary torque means t mean it is an imaginary imaginary torque which will give which will give the same work output the same work output as that of as that of actual torque 
when I applied for the when applied when applied for the same crank rotation same crank rotation okay you got this point see now if you, you have to find the work done if you have to find you have to find work done see the both works are equal right this work and this work just the area which is here the just I am converting this area into this the whatever the work getting from this equate I have to equate with this right now see now I'll equating the work done of the both the work done from this the previous here how much I'll work get from this actual from the actual I need to integrate what, what I have to do for the in order to take this actual I have to integrate this because this is not right I have to take one strip and I have to take consider a strip right and with the equation of this the, uh, the curve I have to in order to find the area you know how to find out the areas right whenever there are curve we have to take the equation of this curve and I have to integrate this area throughout that so that I will be able to get the work done by this right now see the work done work work done is equal to I have to integrate from theta that is the lower limit that is 0 from theta 180 degree right that is whatever may be 180 degree or it is the lower limit you have to put here and upper limit you have to take here okay in t into d theta right the which strip I have considered that strip is it is a d theta here right d theta and the torque I have to take torque into d theta okay which equal to t mean into this theta upper limit mean upper limit that is 180 degree theta 180 upper limit I will call it as upper limit and this is at the lower limit this is just a mathematical expression I am doing here right so see I have to equate this both right from this, this I will find out the torque mean is equal to work done per cycle divided by crank rotation crank rotation in one cycle right in one cycle the how much the crank is rotated that thing we have to find out right you understood this you see if you have any doubts please put in a comment I will try to I already explained you what is the function of this everything I have explained you right from this see from this what I will here I will write the same thing uh, instead of going there okay because the next is we have to take next combination okay the t mean here how you will calculate t mean is equal to the space is I have limitation in the space in the next slide I will calculate t mean is equal to right this is what theta lower limit theta upper limit and this is torque d theta divided by theta upper limit minus theta of lower limit okay this is how you can able to calculate the mean torque this is what the analysis for a uh, single slider double acting slider we have done with this now we will go for the second one that is a four stroke cycle engine let me whether I have added the slide for this let me check uh, here it is not yes here there is slide okay now we will see this is a second combination okay second this is second combination 
the first we have already seen now see the similar here it is a four stroke cycle internal combustion engine you know all the vehicle in the vehicles two wheeler whatever you seen see the bajaj vehicles they are also two stroke also but the most of the vehicles like splendor these all vehicles are four stroke engines right means the four stroke has a first one is a suction in the suction see up to 180 degree it will take suction again from pi to 2 pi means again pi for the compression again from 2 pi to 3 pi that is working stroke and from again 4 pi to uh, 3 pi to 4 pi that's why it is called in the 4 pi the one cycle is completed for this right this is what four stroke cycle engine right forest engine we popular in the name is forest ic engine see on the here also uh, here this is all the turning moment and here the theta that is the crank angle on this axis the same similar analysis for this also what we have done for uh, in in the last case okay last or first its first case see here the, the see here in the power stroke that is the working stroke we are getting the maximum torque here right and the minimum torque uh, it's not minimum it's a mean mean torque this is the torque minimum is here at zero right the, it is a minimum torque the mean torque we are getting this is the mean what the resisting torque mean torque this is what okay this is how the fluctuation works so what we have to do in uh, see in only one power cycle we are getting this much of energy but the rest of the energy is unuseful right so we, uh, the, why the flywheel is used in order to uh, reduce this fluctuation right the flywheel is used see this much variation or the torque in the engine that will damage all the parts of the engine so if you install the flywheel then it will work very smoothly that's why you have seen in the crankshaft uh, on the crankshaft itself the flywheel is mounted and we can treat the crankshaft and the flywheel as a single link right okay <coughs> see here here also we can find out the uh, the see in the, we get the energy in the power stroke right the energy in the power stroke power stroke is equal to is equal to theta is theta varies from here the lower limit is 2 pi and the upper limit is 3 pi right 3 pi torque of t d theta right this is how we calculate here okay this is what about the four stroke engine now we will move on to the next uh, now we will see the multi cylinder engine this is what the third combination okay multi cylinder engine in the multi cylinder engine see see can you uh, let me i will differentiate both so that you guys can understand it very better clear manner see in the four stroke engine this is what yeah this is the, the next see where is that slide let me check the where that slide is gone yes here it is see in the four stroke engine this is how do the variation of the torque with respect to theta we are getting but in the how this is reduced to in, in this that is in multi cylinder engine see in the multi cylinder engine uh, see this is what the area okay here it is like this the variation in the getting means the one of the most advantage of the multi cylinder engine is please write down the advantage of this advantage of advantages is one advantage is without addition means here is the no need of flywheel without addition without addition of any new of any new component or device automatically it reduces automatically it reduces energy energy fluctuation see when in the cars you have seen the multi cylinder engines when one stroke is one cylinder comes for power stroke and it gone the again the second 
that second piston will come and for the fire, ready for fire right that's how there is a proper balance and energy fluctuation is properly in 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 the multi cylinder engine case here the example in the car all the cars are of multi cylinder engines okay the heavy vehicles or cars this are installed in the multi that's why this is how the energy uh, energy uh, there is a less uh, uh, without addition of any so the fly yes there is a flywheel but uh, not that much weight flywheel very less weight flywheel is here working okay here see here what is the here object is the how to calculate the fluctuation energy now how will calculate now my our objection our <coughs> our objective is let me add here one more slide our objective is to find out let me erase this all okay see here here our objective is to find out the fluctuation how the how much energy is fluctuating here it is a less fluctuation but, but in, we need to find out the how much the energy is fluctuation in this case that thing we need to find out here our objective is our objective is to find out to find out fluctuation fluctuation in energy right see how to find out the energy uh, what i'll do first uh, i'll where is that yes here see I, this is what my a point right uh, this is a t min line here it is a t min line okay at sir the t min means the torque the continuously we are getting the torque is here, here we are getting the torque right uh, at the t min the, here will, the point a is here here the t, some energy exists at this also right because the energy is zero here see at zero degree the energy exists because see one one cylinder comes for there are suppose there are four cylinder engine right multi cylinder engine then one comes for suction then other will goes for comp compression like this they are working right means there is a continuous power we are getting and uh, the mean torque is here this is how we are getting the curve the turning moment diagram theta versus this curve we are getting right the crank angle is on on this axis axis and see the area suppose this is what the team mean we are calculating right see the area one is here th this is the negative i'll this is positive areas all the upper team in upper this is positive areas and these are the negative areas okay then if i have to calculate the energy at this a ea is equal to suppose the, here that energy is getting e okay then next eb i'll go to this point how much energy at eb see eb is equal to ea whatever the ea plus this much amount of energy right how much this i have to add this right means plus a1 again i will move on to the point c here the energy at point c is eb eb minus this is minus because we have lack of energy here right that's why i have to minus here see the eb i have already calculated from this what i will get ea i will this is very important i will take it in the next slide and i will calculate this and i will show you because this is just uh, very simple no problem but you uh, the at the end of the class you should understand this very properly okay so i will take it in the next uh, yes here i will do the analysis of this and yes i will take this side okay okay now it's clear okay see uh, at at e what is the energy at a energy at a is e okay e means the some energy you consider because it is a zero level there is a certain energy at this place also right energy at e now i will calculate the energy at b once i move this is what my point b is here 
right at point b eb is equal to this is ea whatever the energy at a and ea plus this is this area right plus a1 okay and again i'll move on to the point c in the point c i'll get the energy at b minus i have to a2 because this the here i have lack of energy right similarly you have to find out energy at d energy at a b c d e a b c d e energy at e energy at f and energy at g right see here the ec comes again ec minus the ed we have to find where oh yeah. ed ec minus where is that ed i have to plus this the area that is a3 plus a3 okay and here ed minus a4 okay the a4 i have to the energy is here i have lack of energy and here excess of energy here ee minus not minus it is a plus a5 and at the g it is ef plus minus a6 right and see once we done this we have to find out among this at which point we are getting the maximum and minimum energy e max at which point we are getting and e minimum where we are getting how you will do that see in place of eb you have to put ea ea you know that is e right uh, and e, uh, in place of eb ea plus a1 you have to put like this you have to find the maximum energy and minimum energy from this points you get once maximum minimum value then we can calculate the easily the fluctuation of energy fluctuation you know the fluctuation of energy that is called delta max also right fluctuation of energy that is delta e max is equal to e max from this what we will get that is e max minus e min you understood this see in order to understand understood this you have to clear the concept of the energy first energy is very important term and if you you study thermodynamics thoroughly then actually the meaning of the energy you will understand how the forms of energy the work heat forms right like this this is a very interesting topic the energy is very interesting okay okay now see once you got this the, the next thing is let me go to the insert new slide here where is uh, yes i will add one more slide here so that see here <coughs> from that what do we know we but see if you calculate that you will understood that energy at once you done that exercise you come to know that energy energy at g and energy at a is equal to energy at what is the energy available this thing you come to know okay you done then in the point from this see if energy at g is equal to energy at a from that what we will get see i will put the energy at g and energy at a from this i will get the a1 plus a2 means sum of a3 is equal to not oh sorry 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 sum of this is odd okay sum of odd energies sorry sorry a1 plus a3 plus a5 is equal to a2 plus a4 plus a6 right this is what the important conclusion from this okay this is for multi cylinder engine this is how the energy if you add this areas this both areas are equal okay in case of multi cylinder engine let me write that note here in case of in case of multi cylinder engine in case of multi cylinder engine sum of sum of all positive areas is equal to sum of all negative areas 
okay this is what the conclusion we can made from that okay this is a in multi cylinder engine case okay guys then i think with this we will stop for the today's class okay in the next class we will continue with the problems based on this turning moment diagram right let me we will take the problems in the tomorrow session we will have the problems 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 based on based on turning moment diagram okay that this thing we will see in the tomorrow's class up till now i i think you understand everything all this combination how the turning moments we will draw that you understood hope you guys doing well okay if you even though you have any doubts please put in a comments okay i will reply that comment don't worry be study hard okay and enjoy the moments okay guys thank you bye and see one more thing <laughs> this thing don't forget please subscribe my channel okay also like the videos and share with your friends somebody will get benefit from this also right so you and also for the other your friends also will get benefits but don't forget to subscribe thank you bye